Welcome to LearnWire. I've got another review for you today. We're going to be taking a look at the page optimizer and SEO um, and now AI content creation tool uh, called OutRanking. Now it's um, competitors um, or alternatives are like Phrase or Surfer. So uh, what this um, has kind of developed into is an actual uh, document um, or web page optimizer. So you can actually take existing documents and plug them into OutRanking and then see what OutRanking tells you, what your uh, ranking factors are and how you can optimize your content better, uh, whether that's adding more additional um, LSI keywords to the mix and just doing an, an analysis. That's what a lot of these tools do. They do an analysis of the top ranking pages and tell you what you sh uh, can do to at least be at the um, average of what those pages, but what you want to do to optimize is do a little bit more than all those ranking pages, right? So uh, this is outranking. This is the front page. You can go and check it out. Um, they have a little uh, screenshot um, of what the software actually will do for you. Um, we're going to dive in. I just signed up an account and we're actually going to go dive into it and just start looking at it right away. Um, I actually haven't used it. So you're going to see it from a new user standpoint, uh, which is um, also a cool way to do a review because I could go and spend, you know, an hour fooling around with the um, with the software, but you'll get a first hand kind of first impression of what I think of the software. Now I have a lot of these tools, so I will be able to, to be like, wow, this is, you know, one of the coolest ones I've seen, or this one's lacking. And I'll just tell you that. And then you can go out and uh, sign up for a free trial. It says up here, try for free. Um, they'll give you, I think, two documents per month for free. So you can actually use it for free. But then if you're, um, if you really enjoy the tool and you're looking for a tool like this, then obviously we'll go over here and check out the pricing real quick. And right here, um, this is what the pricing is actually going to, oh, it actually looks like the seven day free trial is only for seven days. So you will end up having to pay for a free, uh, for a um, paid account. Um, so they have, they do have the SEO content editor, uh, snippets, SERP analysis, AI outline builder and questions. Um, but here's what the pricing is going to end up looking like. It's, um, looks like it's, um, a lot like phrase and surfer. You're looking at $50 for the lowest account and then a hundred dollars and then one ninety nine. Um, actually looking at this only 10 web uh, documents per month. I believe at the $50 mark phrase lets you have 30. So I think, uh, right away off the bat, I'm just going to say, I think that they should up this to a minimum of 30. And if they wanted to be competitive and kind of overdo, what the competition's doing, they actually would come in here and uh, increase this to, to 40 documents a month uh, for $50. Um, I, I don't understand what the 10 documents mean. Uh, just 10 documents is just not enough, right? If you're doing blog writing um, or, you know, you have, you're a, um, a blogger and you are going to be doing this. Um, a lot of bloggers set it um, on their schedule to have one post go out per day. So you could take four to eight hours working on one really, really good post. So that's a minimum of 25. If you worked Monday through Friday and took the weekends off, that's still 25 uh, documents per month. So the $49 uh, would not, would not cover that, right? You would have to be on the hundred dollar plan. So, but you know what? Let's not uh, jump to conclusions yet. Maybe this one is better than what I've seen. So we're going to go and check this out. But what you do need to know that if you do want to go and pick this up, um, what I recommend doing is going and trying it out. And um, if you like it or whatever, uh, come back and click on the link below. If you click on the link below, then you're going to go over here to AppSumo. It's going to take you right to this link right here. It does have 192 reviews, almost uh, complete five stars. So people are liking the software. Um, and right here, it tells you it's a competitor to Surfer, um, Surfer SEO. ClearScope, I have not tried that software out yet. But um, you can get this for $69 one time lifetime fee. Let's see what that, that actually covers. That'll actually cover 50 SERP analysis or documents um, per month. So that is actually like incredible, right? So you're going to pay basically a little bit more than you would pay for the regular pricing, $50. But then this is monthly, right? So at two months, you're already in the um, pro you've already covered your expenses by picking up the lifetime deal. Uh, if you're doing a ton of SERP analysis, then you would need to go up to the license uh, tier two, tier three. 
They don't have an unlimited, but 200 SERP analysis is uh, for only $200. That's now they, they, this is good pricing. So this is good lifetime pricing and they're being um, pretty generous with the documents that they're giving. So um, I would say, uh, you know, for myself, I would pick up the licensed tier. If I really, really like this, then I am going to pick up the tier one uh, to, to optimize 50 articles uh, per month. So let's go jump into the software real quick. So we're right here on the dashboard and on the dashboard, new SEO document, uh, you can create a brand new one. And if we have time, I'll try to do both. But right now we're going to just go create a new document. So I'm going to go back over into my tool. And I found um, how to make money with nonprofit uh, with a nonprofit, and that gets 720 searches per month. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. You can see right here what's ranking. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to go back into the tool real quick. We're going to throw the search query in right there, United States, and we'll just call that the title as well. I'm not sure why it just did that. Let's go ahead and Okay, so we've got our title in there and we're going to just keep it as draft mode and we can put a tag on here. Maybe the tag would be that this would be for my realistic pay site, create new SEO document. So here we go. So immediately we're in here. I'm not really sure what all this um, HTML coding is at the top. That's kind of interesting because I wouldn't expect uh, new users or even uh, the average blogger to know um, how to handle HTML. Right now it's saying it's analyzing the data and now it's generating suggestions. And then now it's going through a phase of collecting data. So that must be metrics, ra uh, ranking metrics on the top ranking pages. So we're a good 30 to 45 seconds in and it has um, brought up this wizard, AI wizard title, uh, generate title ideas. I thought we already put the title in, that's interesting. Uh, nonprofit money make uh, generate title I'm not really sure i just want to put in the title that i have over here so i'm going to go ahead and so it's not letting me put in my title so it's it's like an ai wizard so i'm wondering if i click off this x if it will actually let us just continue manually but we're going to go ahead and just um, go through all the features let it generate the titles uh, earn ten thousand as a volunteer how to make money with a non-profit on uh, the side these are pretty interesting. That's a very interesting title. I like that. How to make money as a nonprofit. Eight ways. How to make money with a nonprofit. Uh, top five tips. So I guess let's just go with the eight ways. We're going to click that one and we're going to click next. And then we're going to, uh, now we're on to generate. So we have a check mark here at title. Now we need to generate them made a description. So we're going to just let the AI run itself. So it's going to out, it's going out there and doing everything for us. So, so far, uh, my impression so far is it a, was a little confusing at first, but then now that I'm kind of getting the hang of it, we don't have to mess with any of the HTML up here. It's just kind of a placeholder and, um, really generating the title and the, um, and the titles, it created some pretty good titles, um, engaging. Um, also titles that would do really well on YouTube, I think. Um, and then generating my description, it goes out there and it's doing all of it based on one click. So I do like that. So it was a little confusing at first, but then at the end of the day, um, kind of looking at it, it's less confusing than, than I thought it was. So we'll go through here. These eight ways to make money as a nonprofit are proven strategies that have worked for many other nonprofits, learn how to use them to start making money today. So that is pretty cool. Um, let's just go ahead and grab that one right there is fine. And then you just click the, then you just click the next button right here. And then we're on sections. So target, it's telling us that we need to target 10 to 35 sections because the number of sections, which also means the number of headlines and subheadlines uh, that you must create in order to increase your chances of ranking higher. So this is, um, it has basically gone out and looked at all the, and I, and I don't know if they're working, if they're using the top 10 or if they're using the top um, 20 results to come up with that number. And that's a pretty big range, 10 to 35. That's a, that's a really big range, but basically it's telling us that a minimum you need 10 subheadlines. Uh, so generating outline ideas, 
you can actually just let this do everything for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And now we get to go through here and actually we, I'm going to move over. Now we can look at all the different sub headlines. That is awesome. Wow. It's pulling a lot of sub headlines. So let's go ahead and pick, let's pick 15. Um, I will just kind of go through and pick a couple in front of you, how to raise money for a nonprofit. That's cool. So you just check mark these um, organization ways um, on how to get money for your nonprofit. Um, but how to raise money is the same thing, how to make a nonprofit organization. So we need, can skip that one, how do nonprofits make money. That's great information. What are the best ways to raise donations? Uh, so that's close to how to raise money. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one off. Um, how do nonprofits make money? How can you start your own business with a nonprofit? That's good right there. So we're at, and then you don't even have to count. It's counting for us. So I like that. So let me go back or let me go and uh, click on some real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. So I've arrived at 12, uh, 12 headlines we're going to go with. A lot of these are, you know, kind of repeat. They're just rephrased. Um, so I can't, I don't want to duplicate the same kind of question. Uh, so I tried to pick out as many unique ones as I could. So 12 is um, over the 10 minimum. And then we're going to create outline. And notice over here on the right hand side, we're getting an SEO score of 32. I don't know if that's uh, out of 100 and 100 being the best. We will figure that out soon. Um, instructions. So titles good enough. Meta descriptions great. Heading is great. And then sections questions are good enough. Topic coverage related keywords. So those are that's where we're going to be continuing to um, to optimize the content, right? So we have all these H2 tags. Um, or subtopics that are created, step-by-step -step instructions. So step seven, create sections, optimize sections, and verify section keywords, add a topic to outline. So, so right here is the next part of, of the, what we need to do inside of outranking. So um, now it's saying, if we hover over this, it's saying generate concepts. Um, this will find the most relevant content from the top 20 pages of SERPs and write concepts that can be used to develop your section topic contents. If no relevant content is found, use the gear or settings icon above to add custom content. Okay. So uh, concepts, we're going to say generate concepts for this H2 real quick. It's going to go out there. So, so far, I mean, it is going out and finding all these content con uh, concepts inside of here. And I don't know how many concepts that we want to have in here, but we can go ahead and umbrella develop the concepts by uh, letting the AI write a few sentences, explaining the concepts in text headlines and subheadlines. Uh, copy the con concept into the editor where the cur cursor is. So this um, must not be unique content. So if I click on it, yeah, nothing happens. But if I click on the umbrella, it's going to go out there and actually rewrite this for us. And one thing that I've noticed already is that we were in the wrong spot. So uh, let's gonna, we're going to go ahead and sections from SERP related activities. So this is where it's kind of losing me a little bit as a user. Um, and of course, it'll take a couple different tries to uh, to keep trying out the software, right? rearrange. But right here, uh, we had our title right here, but then it started writing over here. And I don't know if, you know, I don't think I had my courser there or anything. So that part is uh, confusing me a little bit. I'm wondering if I have my courser down here and then I don't know how to raise um, this click icon to copy and paste the provided text automatically into your SEO content area. So we need to click this and then it goes in as the H2. Okay. So then this part right here, I'm going to go ahead and delete, delete. And I'm pretty sure all this right here is just going to end up being uh, needing to be deleted as well. So this is where it gets a little bit um, uh, manual, right? So then now what we have is um, we're going to have them write this for us with the umbrella, nonprofit organizations, and we're going to pick some of this. So now we're starting to kind of understand a little bit and we will go out and do a copy escape as well. So we'll just keep writing this, these concepts, of course, and we'll see. So our SEO score is going up, which is cool. Uh, some foundations, we already did that one. So let's just get through a couple of these. 
We probably won't be able to go through an entire article because I have been figuring this out on the go in front of you, but you will see if this, um, this will at least give you a good idea if you even want to go and try this software out or if you want to go and jump on this because there is um, a lifetime deal, right? And I'm also noticing sometimes it's kind of like it rejects, like you do an umbrella, so you want it to the AI to write concepts and then it doesn't write it. So maybe it's just having a hard time at that point, right? So we have a pretty good um, start to our content right here. So now you would push the return button and this H2, we're gonna close out. We're gonna go on to the next H2 right here and I'm going to uh, generate concepts. There's also a summary. So um, the summary is actually, oh, that's cool. The summary automatically adds uh, how to make a nonprofit organization successful. So it automatically added the H2 tag and then also did an intro. I really like that. Um, then we can do an answer. Let's see if it answers a question for us now. Uh, making a nonprofit successful may be difficult, but it is impossible. Um, but it, so this is, uh, but it is possible. So that is, uh, it does like an answer for you. And then you can do a, let's just click the write for me. I don't know what it's going to do. Um, please write a meta title. Okay. We'll come back to that. There looks like there's templates and stuff as well. I'm going to go back to um, concepts. I'm going to uh, put my cursor right here. Kind of make sure your cursor is in the right spot. And then we're going to go generate concepts as well. And we're going to go ahead and let it do some concepts for us. Uh, you've exceeded your AI writing limits. Please upgrade your account um, or purchase an add on. So this is awesome because I'm able to show you live how much content you'll be able to write in your free um, account. So um, what I will tell you, and they're not even going to let me go and copy in, and I wanted to, to look at this, copy it. I wanted to copy it and paste it uh, so I could, let me come back over here, so I could go and cop, uh, copy scape this. Uh, that is not cool. I hope it's saved for us. Okay, so this is something I'm not really liking, that it just is, you know, <laughs> It's going to make you purchase. Um, you don't even get your, uh, now you can do 300,000 AI characters add on for $29 a month. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. So that is just the AI creation portion of this. Um, what I really wanted to see was on the SEO content. Okay. So we're going to come back over here real quick. Cool. So I came back into it. All right. So that was a little fidgety, but we've got our content right here. And you saw that all, it was only generated by AI. Let's go over to Copyscape and let's see if this is unique content. And it is unique content, okay? So I'm gonna go back to it and we just kinda wanna look at it. Uh, it's looking pretty good, so I'm liking that. And I'm kinda comparing it a little bit to long form AI, which I really, really, really like. Um, this one, it has more, steering and control over the sub topics. Um, and you can get really, really into the content piece. Um, now I'm going to move myself back over here and you can see it does have 218 words. So it has the amount of words and sections and all that. Um, you have all your, uh, things that you need to use over here, like your, uh, bull, um, bold and italicized underline h1 h2 h3 tags um, you can add links bullet head uh, bullet point and you can even add images inside here so i like this you can use the ai editor but let's go back into here to the dashboard and let's see if it'll let us just do a serp analysis new document and we want to optimize an existing piece of content okay and let's go in here and just pick something from I want to go to this one, how to make money on TikTok by watching videos. So I'm going to click this post on my website. I'm going to grab the URL. We're going to go back to outranking and I'm going to optimize existing content. Here's the um, URL and we're going to go for how to make money on TikTok by watching and is it watching videos? 
So create new SEO document. So it just pulled in everything that's on that site. It's going out collecting SERP data right here. So we'll be back in a sec after it does all of its um, analyzation. Okay, so here's the AI wizard. I just wanna see, I think we can just click the AI wizard and you can close out of it. So you don't have to use the AI wizard at all, which is awesome. Now it's gone out there and it's identified uh, H1 tags, uh, create sections, create a URL, um, made a title. So you can go out there and optimize all this. So right now it's giving us an SEO score of 54 on this document. The title's good. The meta description's already good. Um, the heading needs improvement. It's saying sections need improvement. Um, it needs um, like an FAQ sections or questions. It needs more relevant questions to the topic. Uh, topic coverage, it's saying that it's not really covering the topic, um, the related keywords, um, SERP data, and U the URL is good. So um, it's, you know, a 54 SEO score. So if we click on related keywords, uh, make money on TikTok, uh, you can see, and I'm not sure what that is, um, if the 0.44 is, let me see here, SERP mentions, this must be the search volume, and then this must be the, the um, cost per click. Let's see what the instructions say. Okay, so the green, I think, means that we have used it in, it's identified that, uh, let's see right here, watching videos for money. So I'm going to do a control F. Nope, that's not in our document. So I don't know what the green means, but it is saying that we're optimized. So it may not actually have watching videos for money, but you can see it highlights all the watching videos for money. It highlights all those. Uh, so it means that we're pretty optimized when you click on all these, right? But then when you click on earn money watching, uh, maybe there's not a whole lot of earn money. So the related keywords, I would need to fool around a little bit more with this to actually look and see what um, we would want to do uh, with this section here. So we're at a 54 and you would just come in here and like go into sections right here. And this is where you would actually go in and optimize your sections. Average page has around 16 sections. Um, and right over here, I'm not really seeing, I'm not seeing, so now it's saying good enough sections we have. We'll click on headings and research. So there's a lot of things that you can do in here. I would need to fool around with it a little bit more, but overall, you know, uh, picking up the lifetime deal for 69 bucks where you would be able to uh, create up to 50 documents um, per month. And let's go back and see how much AI text. Unfortunately, it's not a lot of AI characters. So what this means is that you probably would be on a lifetime plan. You'd be able to um, optimize 50 documents like we were just doing, which is cool. Um, but you will easily run out of the 10,000 characters. So you'll have to add on that package. And that package was, uh, you, you'd be paying probably $29 a month, which is not bad. But come back over to here and you can get 300,000 AI characters add on for $29 a month. That is, in, that's insane. A, a lot of other ones, uh, <laughs> 300,000. I can tell you right now, I have Jarvis and I on average use 50,000 per month. So I on average use 50,000 per month and $29 for that. That is a complete still. Um, plus this gives you all kinds of optimization. So, um, so far, um, as far as the pricing, so that's, what's cool when you dive into something now, uh, the $30 package, if we go into the pricing, uh, you're only, uh, how much AI are you getting with this, uh, $49 a month, uh, unlimited, oh, unlimited AI content. So you would either just need the unlimited AI content. Uh, you get unlimited AI content for $49 a month. That's cool. Um, but, but that's included with only 10 web documents, I believe. So the best combo that I'm looking at right now that you could do is go and purchase the license tier one right here. And then you would add on the AI $29 a month. So it would just be $29 a month after that. And you would have unlimited, uh, AI characters. So that's my review. Uh, you know, I'm going to go and fool around with it a little bit more, um, trying to figure out if I'm going to pick this up actually from uh, AppSumo. But if you do want to go pick it up, um, obviously almost 200 people have left five-star reviews. So it is a good tool. 
If you want to go pick it up, pick it up from AppSumo because it won't be there for much longer. I'll see you in my next review.